Okay guys, today I'm going to show you a unique location hidden deep in space. This is a place that doesn't show up in any mission, and it's also a place that doesn't repeat itself, so there's only one of these locations in the entire game. That place is Kazao Sulfur Mine. This is found in the Nearer system. Once in the Nearer system, head to the planet Kazao, and what you're going to find here is a huge enemy outpost that ranks among the biggest I have ever seen. It's also filled with the most enemies I've encountered encountered in one place as well, so be prepared for a fight. I recommend bringing some scoped weapons because you will be engaging these guys at a long range. Kazao Mines also have some really interesting lore that gives you a whole different perspective on one part of the game, and one computer terminal in particular gives you some very rare lore that you won't find anywhere else. The location also has a rare piece of loot that permanently increases your stats, and a bunch of legendary loot to get as well. So as we touch down, we can see a massive alien creature just hanging out on the front of our ship. And these are not only hyper strong, but just to go along with that, hyper aggressive as well. A great combination there. You know how I said there are more enemies here than any other outposts, that also includes aliens. In fact, there are so many hostiles here, it actually causes a bit of a slowdown. So there might be one or two frame rate dips here. And that's when you really know you've kind of waded into a big old con combat scenario. So as we push into the Kazor Sulfur Mine, let me just describe what exactly this place is, because the name might be familiar to you. That's because Lin actually mentions this location at the start of the game when Barrett arrives on Vectera. She says it's where her and Barrett actually mined the first ever artifact humanity discovered. So it's quite an important location in the grand scheme of Starfield's story. And inside the actual base itself, we will find her diary entry that contains in detail her daily log of activities in the mine, which is actually pretty interesting. And I say that as someone who's not hugely invested in the lore of Starfield, but it is a fun little read. As you can see, there are tons of enemies around and these are all Varun Zealots. And this is why I said scoped weapons are good because this area is absolutely huge. With the right weapon though, you can get some high ground and scope them from above. So you don't really have to get close to them at all. Just zoom in on your scope and fire away. And if you're lucky, you might even get one of the aliens native to the planet involved in the fight, at which point they will engage with the Zealots and act as a big old distraction. The reason the Zealots are here is because of the proximity to their home system. This system we're in right now is right next to the Serpentis system, but it is telling how they've all congregated here at this site, the site of the first artifact discovery, and we will learn why they're here very shortly. But what's good about how many of them there is, is that there will be one or two elite enemies guaranteed, and these will drop high tier gear. So if an enemy has a white health bar in addition to the red health bar, target them and see what they drop. Personally, I I managed to get a purple mag sniper, which as I say, is a really useful weapon to have here. Now, before we enter the main facility, which holds some really important items, by the way, I just want to tell you about something cool you might want to try if you explore this area for yourself. And that is getting unique dialogue. To do that, try and visit this place with either Barrett or Lynn. The reason for that is both of these companions have been here before, and it holds a special significance for them both. So I would assume Bethesda would give them special voice lines to reflect that. However, I did try this with both Barrett and Lynn in my party, and neither of them had any unique lines to say. But hey, maybe I just missed them. So I'll throw this over to you guys, get either of them in your party, and explore this place, and it might unlock some extra voice lines, shedding some more light on the story. If you wanted the quickest way to get someone as your traveling companion, hit the ship menu, then bring up the crew screen by pressing Y. Now assign them to your current ship by pressing A. Finally, make sure you go up to them and talk to them and ask them to accompany you. That ensures they'll actually follow you out of the airlock. I've been waiting for you to ask. Otherwise, they'll just wait in the ship and probably have a little snooze. But anyway, let's get inside that facility and see what it holds. Firstly, I'm gonna show you where to pick up Avarun Scripture. Now, these are incredibly rare pickups that permanently boost your stats, and there are only 11 of them in the entire game. This one we're going to get is number 7, and it gives you a permanent 5% and 1% boost to your sneak and melee, so these things are well worth picking up. It's not randomly generated either, so it can 
only be found at this one single location. The second thing you want to look out for is the computer terminal. This gives you loads of lore about Lin and Barrett's time at the mine and basically explains what happened immediately before the start of the game. So just before you're introduced to Barrett for the first time, this is what he was up to. And according to Lin's diary, she has seven entries in total, what he was up to was uncovering the first ever artifact. Lin reveals how Constellation paid an astronomical amount for the mining expedition and at one point a member of her team accidentally dug into some sulfur and their suit got melted. That prompted them to have to jump 50 light years away to get medical attention on Aquila. Lin also recounts how that trip to Aquila brought the attention of Varun Zealots who stormed the mine shortly after, prompting Lin and her team to hide from them. When they were gone a few days later, Barrett eventually managed to find the artifact, however he stopped Lin from entering the shaft where it was found, saying that it could be dangerous. But Lin didn't buy that at all, and she became suspicious of what exactly Barrett was up to with the artifact. He was alone with the artifact for hours, and eventually emerged saying that he passed out from the sulfur. It's all very suspicious, so if you take the time to read the lore, it adds a few extra layers of intrigue to the story. But that's not all, because we also have a rare loot chest, and it's one of those eight-sided loot chests that usually holds some very good stuff. To get at it, make sure to go to the top level Level and interact with a computer terminal that's overlooking the mine. This opens up a set of big red doors straight ahead and inside these red doors you'll find the yellow loot container. As ever it's completely random what you will get. For me I'll be honest it wasn't all that good but there's always the chance you'll find a legendary gear piece. After that though there is one more thing I want to show you and that is not in the mine itself but about 500 meters away to the west and that is a rare geographical feature that I've barely seen in this game. This feature is a vast connected river system and you just don't see rivers at all in Starfield, it's either land or ocean, with the two seldom interacting, which makes this river incredibly rare and it would actually make a great location for a pleasant riverside outpost, maybe a charming log cabin or something rustic. And if we fast forward into the day, it looks even better, so very tranquil. Just make sure you look out for those dinosaur looking things because those things are deadly. So anyway, that was the Kazal Sulfur Mines, a great place to find loot and build an outpost, but an even better place to find lore, all the lore you could want. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to me on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash gaming with Griff Griffin. And for more Starfield videos, subscribe to the channel.